Good morning to Ghanaians, good morning to everyone, and good morning to our lovely viewers. This is from Golden IFMs TV, and my name is Mr. Adams. Every day I try to bring you a topic that will help you to improve your life, topics that will educate you, and topics that will make you a very, very strong person. Today's topic is going to be about revenge. Revenge. We've been hearing the word revenge, revenge. I want to take revenge. I want to take revenge. That is the more reason why I'm coming to the, I'm coming with this topic today. It is very, very important that we need to know when to revenge and when not to revenge. Now, a lot of people in our lives, either at workplaces, in our homes, in, um, in, uh, in the market, everywhere, a lot of people who hurt us are people who are either working with us or people who are very close to us. At times, it is very difficult for a stranger to hurt someone, to hurt somebody that he doesn't know. So normally people who hurt us are people... Sit. Normally people who hurt us are people who... who are very close to us. They are, very pe they are people who are very close to us, either colleagues at the workplace, either um, at home, either your friends, your family, and other stuff. These are people who normally um, hurt us. Normally you don't get people hurt by strangers. Strangers don't hurt people. Normally when you are hurt, it is about people that are very close to you, people that know you, people that you are always find yourself with. These are the people who normally hurt you so much. Now, when people hurt you, what is the, the option? At times, if someone hurts you so bad, and you think that you need to, this thing have to, you need to work on this, then you need to report it to the, if it is a criminal case, you need to report it, report it to the police, or you let the law take its course. Then you wait for the law to deal with the issue. At times, the people take the laws into their own hands because they don't believe that going by the law, it will, end, it will give them any results. That is why at times people take revenge. People help people back when they, when they hurt you. But the problem I have with this is that at times when you are hurt and you don't take time to investigate properly, then you might end up hurting, in trying to revenge, you end up hurting an innocent person. That is the more reason why this topic is very, very important, that we need to talk about revenge. Revenge, at times, it is the only option. Because so there, are so, there are so many people, they are so wicked that when they are trying to hurt somebody, they don't even think about the person's family. They don't think about their livelihood. They don't think about... Um, they don't think about people who depend on you. What they want is just you. They want to just hurt you. But without knowing that the person you are hurting, do you know the people behind him? Do you know the people who are depending on him? Do you know the people who... Who he helps, who he pays school fees. Do you know the kind of help he's given to people? You don't know. Recently I came, I came across a post that was Coffee TV. He, he posted a video and I was very, 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 um, a, a, a picture. When I saw the picture, I was very, 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 very sad. And when I read it, it was so, 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 so sad. I, I, I almost cried. Yes, I saw it and then I even recommended on it and then I posted it on my page, on my um, uh, YouTube page and then my Facebook group page. I did that because a lot of people are on my group page and I also want anything that I, I see, I also like to share with them. This was a very, very, very sensitive information that he shared. Okay, because a bird went out there. The story was just about, a, a, we saw a nest where a, a, a small bed or the, 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 the very um, young, um, I don't know how to put it, either they were um, young birds or whatever it is, they, they, they died on the nest and then, um, and, and then they, their bones were left over there, their remains were left over there, it was very sad. So you could, you, the, the, the story was all about, um, maybe the, 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 the mother went out to bring food, to, to come and feed the, the young bed. But as, as soon as it went, maybe he, it was either killed by somebody or um, something happened to it and it couldn't return. And because of that, the, the, the young birds have to die. So the, the, the story is just telling us that when you see people out there, when you see people walking around, everybody going to work every day, the person is only trying to make ends meet. He has a family back at home that he has to feed. He has a he has, a, he has his own agenda. There are, he has his own um, 
problems to, to resolve. So hurting somebody, terminating somebody's life, or even doing something that would take away his job, would take away his happiness, would take away his source of income, is very, very bad. At the time when you put people into these positions, the only thing they are looking for is revenge. Especially when you do it, when you do it without, without, being, without it being justified. It is very, very bad. Because at times you don't know what people left at home before going to work. You don't know what people left at home before traveling. You don't know what people left at home before they are out there. So when you are trying to help them, at times think. Think far. Think about yourself. Think, think that you, you are here trying to help somebody. You Don't you have a family at home? Don't you have your wife and, and children at home? If somebody does the same thing to you, if somebody hurts you the same way, will you be able to go back to your family? If somebody take a job, your job from you, Will you be able to feed your family? Also ask yourself that as I'm here working, if somebody, somebody also takes that job from me, will I be able to feed my family? Will I be able to, 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 to go back to my family? Or somebody kill you? Somebody terminate your life? Just like that. Will you be able to go back to your family? No. So at the time when you want to help somebody, also think that being the person's shoes. I also have a family at home. So if I help somebody, what happens to that? What happened to the person family? What happened to the wife? What happened to the children? What happened to people who depend on you? You have to think about all these things before hurting people. So at times people have no choice than to hurt. If you hurt somebody so much, like taking the person job from him, taking his livelihood from him, and tarnishing his image, destroying his life, giving him no hope, the person will not wait for you. At times you are hurting somebody today thinking that you have the power, you have the means to help somebody. But you don't know tomorrow. The person only is not revenging because he's not uh, going to revenge because he doesn't have the means, he doesn't have the source of means today. But tomorrow you don't know. He might get the, the, the resources that he needs to revenge. And by that time you are old and you don't even know it will happen to your children and you don't know what is happening. So at times if you want to help people, let me be very, very careful. If it is the law, allow the law to take its course. Okay, when you, when you think that somebody has done something wrong, allow the law to take its course. Don't try to manipulate the system. When you manipulate the system, this is where at times it, it leads to people taking the laws into their own hands and hurting people. Okay, so revenge at times is, 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 is normal. There's, we always say that revenge is of the Lord. Or revenge is for the Lord. Yes, that is what I do. But does it normally end like that? Does it normally end like that? Revenge is very, 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 it's not good at all. But at times, we don't have any option. We don't have any option because people give us no option than to revenge, either spiritually or either hand them down. People who revenge, who people who hate you so much at times you just feel like I have to hand this person down. It's better when you destroy your career, you destroy your life on something that is not justified. Unjustified means a waste. People use because I don't like this person, I don't want this person, I don't do this, I don't do this. You want to destroy somebody's life. It is it is wrong. Remember that you are not the only person. You are not the only person who has family. You also have family at home. You also have people that he depend that people people depend on, on him or her. So at times when you want to help somebody, be very careful. Be very, very careful and don't just be hurting people anyhow. Because people will take revenge. When you help somebody so much, you will revenge. He can eliminate your family. He will look for them. When he realizes that the law has exhausted, he has done everything to revenge and he's not able to, 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 to get to the bottom of it. He will take the Lord into his own hands and he will wipe your family. He will wipe out your family. He will hunt you down. And that's the situation that people have. But I'm not saying that revenge is good at all. But at times people hurt people so hard, so hard that they think that they have no any other choice. They don't even have time to wait for them. For them. For the Lord to take it course. So at times let's 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 try. No, we are all human beings. When one make a mistake, let's give the person a second chance. Okay? Because whatever that we are doing to that person, remember that if they do the same thing to you, how will your family survive? How will your wife and kids survive? So when you are destroying somebody's life, we are all no one is perfect. No one apart from the Lord, or apart from God Himself, no one is perfect. 
we are all human beings and we all have our failures. We all have our problems. So do not think that you alone is holy. And for that matter, you can take things for granted. You have a small little power, then you go around hurting people, uh, trying to intimidate people, trying to help people. You don't care whether they go and die. You don't care whether they go and, 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 and they, you don't care. No. No, 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 no. You don't know what the person is passing through. So don't go and add check problem. If, you, if the person has done anything wrong, the person has committed any offense, or the person has done something so bad, let the Lord take its course. Let the Lord take its course. It is very, very important that I am bringing this topic. As human beings, let's take time when we want to revenge. But people out there, also make sure that you don't hurt people unnecessarily. Don't hurt people that make them suffer for the rest of their lives. Their blood will always remain in your hands. And at times, when they pass through the law and the law is not working, they will find another way to get back at you. People will always find another way to get back at you. So when you are hurting people, be very, very careful. Be very, very careful the way you are hurt. You hurt people. Because you can hurt somebody today and go scot free. You can hurt somebody tomorrow and go scot free. You can, you can keep hurting people and be going scot free. But one day, one day, you will hurt somebody and that will be the end of your life. So let's always allow the, the, the Lord to take the course. I'm begging everyone out there. Let's not take revenge in the first place. At times, let's allow the Lord to take its course. Then when the Lord fails to deal with the issue, then we at times we leave everything to God because vengeance is of the Lord. And at times we are not the same. What I will take and leave for God to work for me. Somebody has no patience to wait. He will take the law into your hands. So let's try our possible best and always maintain, always remember that we are all man, we are not perfect. I'm not saying that go and kill somebody and allow and expect people to forgive you. No. I'm not saying that go and go and tarnish somebody image. Go and do dubious means, ways and means to take somebody from his job. I'm not saying that when you do those things, people still forgive you. That is not what I'm saying. I am saying that at times there are issues that need to be investigated. So let's be patient and let the investigation go on until we find who is at fault before we try to take the law into our own hands. That is all that I have today about revenge. Is it the only option? At times it is the only option that we have. At times it is the only option that people have. They don't have any other option. At times they feel that this is the only option that they have. You can, you can, you can help someone today and 20 years later he will come back for you. You can help somebody today and he will revenge today. What I'm saying is that let's be, let's be careful. Let's not be going around hurting people anyhow. If, 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 if someone does something, especially at the workplace, especially your friend, your, your people, somebody can even crash your car, somebody can um, um, by mistake he hurt, he can crash your car, somebody can by mistake he has done something wrong at workplace, somebody can by mistake he can, that is how life is. At times these, are, these, these things we have to allow them, we have to forgive and forget, then we forgive and forget. But there are people, when I mean people, there are so, there are people that are very wicked that they don't need time. They don't need forgiveness. They are so wicked that they only think about themselves. They don't care what your family does. They don't care where, who, where your next man will come. What they want is just to hurt you so that you destroy your life and kill you. That is what I'm saying. That there are people that don't need forgiveness. And don't, I'm putting this out there that you can hurt someone today, but tomorrow the person can take revenge. It can take 20 years, you will come for you. Thank you very much. And may God bless everyone. And let's all remain and always give